and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is dj a 9 zt and we're back with WWE Champions and another 5-star bronze character gameplay preview video. And today, we got Lacey Evans, the woman's right, and uh, she's going to be your free-to-play superstar for the month of December. And uh, let's just get into it. Here we go. Alright guys, Lacey Evans, the woman's right. She's got the, uh, the, the military gear on there. Given the double flex, nothing that moves on the gear there, so you know DJ's not too happy about that one. But uh, let's take a look inside the poster here. Coaching ability, purple and green gems do more damage, up to 20% for each. That's huge, guys. I love double gem damage trainers. She's got a raw link and a modern era link, and that's it. We look at the moves. The lady lace-up is the four-star move. The running clothesline is the five-star move. So let's take a look at our first move set. Uh, we got the we got a running clothesline and yeah, but there's two running clotheslines. The blue running clothesline is not the five star move. This is a three star move set. So we got the finisher, woman's right, deal 56k damage, choose 10 heal gems to destroy. We got two blue, the handstand Bronco Buster, 35k damage and make five random yellow or gems into yellow. And then the running clothesline blue, seven charge, deal 39k damage and choose three columns to make into heal gems of strength 17, 369. Guys, that's a lot. So looking at the entourage, I got Lawler and Ziggler here. Hit blue fast, hit uh, make lots of yellow. Want to hit that yellow finisher there. We got Andre to recharge the blue faster. I put Beefcake on there before I picked an opponent. But we're going to look at Ronda Rousey here. Match nine, normal mode, Royal Rumble. I don't have that great female opponent to go against yet. There's nobody who's not strapped up. I've been going against people that are like 14, 15K just to make sure I get the win. But uh, we'll see here. Ronda could bot me and I might not get up. But I do have class advantage. So there's that. So there's that. What does she need? Yellow? Black? What does her black do? Increase your black gem damage? Well, that's what she's probably going to get. All right, so we're ready here. We're ready here. I'm going to go ahead and I want to make the yellow gems first, before, definitely before the heal gems, and especially before she strikes. All right, so my yellow's full. Ooh, we got a blue cascade there. That's beautiful. So my yellow's full now. I could do the big finish for the heals. I think I'm still going to wait a turn on it, though, to tell you the truth. Because she's about to hit me here, so I want this health back. Whatever she hits me for here, I want back before I hit mine. I was going to say, I'll probably regret this. I'll probably regret this. I want to make sure I have some health to heal, right? You go ahead, you take your turn, you hit me. Now, I can go ahead and get that health back. And she's got two moves that are wiped, so... Three columns into heal gem. So pick your columns with the most blue and yellow in them. Pick your columns with the most blue and yellow. Help yourself recycle here. Ten. Oh, I'm choosing ten heal gems to destroy? Who, baby. I didn't even realize that. Oh, boom. There's three yellow. We want the blues. And then the rest is just we're going to take these yellows, right? But those three are going to break, so I could just go ahead and uh, bop, bop, take those two. Look at that. Health is full. You go ahead and go. You go ahead and go. You go ahead and go, Rhonda. This one's going to hurt. She's got that boosted black gem damage for this one. I guess that wasn't too bad. All right. Let's get nine random yellow out here. I guess I didn't think this through when I'm chucking yellow and going against a double yellow superstar. I'm kind of helping, especially in that situation. But uh, there we go. Oh, that's going to give her a lot of yellow. That gives us a chance to take some of it back off the board. Ah, I wanted that blue up there because we're about to hit this again. We're about to keep that health full. We're about to keep that health full, fam.
Man. Bop! Right in the face. We want the blue gems for sure. Go ahead and take that blue, even though it's... Oh, I can't only destroy heals, though. <laughs> I'm trying to cheat. All right, not bad. Health's still full, guys. Health's still full. If you remember playing with... Uh... Oh, I guess if, if you're playing with Akum nowadays, this is playing similar to that. It's just slow, guys. This is slow. Effective. As long as you can kick out whenever they hit you, you're good. Like, kicking out is the big thing, though. If I had a blue match here, I would bypass using my move to match blue. But I don't, so we're going to hope for some cascade action here. Change the board out. Hey, we got the blue. Oh, stop. There we go. There we go. Got our blue match. Ooh, we wasted a turn on her uh, black gem damage boost there. I can't even talk. I can't even talk, man. It's before my coffee. All right, let's get all that health back again. Oh, I missed that green one. Now, that would have been something. Look at all those, all my heal gems. I blew that. I blew that. It's hard to look through all them gems, man. We're still full. She's still got, like, nothing left. So, no matter how I played this, guys, I don't care if you think I played it wrong. I played it right. It doesn't matter. It's played right. If I'm going to finish with nearly full health, it's played right. Watch me not kick out of this one. How mad do you think I would get? Oh my gosh. See, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous that people can't even kick out of simple ass shit like that. That's what's wrong with this game right now. I got lucky to get out. Like, like how could you dominate the whole match and then get hit not even very hard and then not kick out? Like, that's so ridiculous. That might be it. That's probably it. I didn't even get a chance to hit my heal gems to finish full either. But uh, you guys get the idea there. You guys get the idea. She's an excellent healer. She's an excellent healer. So let's go see if she's a one-trick pony. Let's go see if she's just a one-trick pony. Maybe she is, maybe she's not. I seen a look at her moves there. She's got uh, she's got a pretty awesome recycle set to do here. But Rhonda's probably gonna bop her. Just saying. See now we do got the shoulder breaker here. There's another option we could run if we didn't want to do it that way. We could run the double black moves. And then run that. So you could run the four random gems into heal gems of 23039. And then you can run the lady lace up, which we're going to put in now. I'm just going to go ahead and throw three more in. I'm not using the other, uh, the other black move that made the heal gems a shoulder breaker. I'm just not feeling it right now. So if you guys got a better set with that, then uh, you go for it. But you could run the two blacks with the finisher. Kind of do the same effect as what I was just doing there. Just It's going to run a little different. I think what I did there was more effective. But here we go. Three all new moves. Running clothesline yellow. That's the five star move. Eight charge. Deal 41k damage. Choose four gems to make into blue gems. That's just going to be our big hit. We got the leg sweep, slingshot, elbow drop combo. Man, that's a mouthful. 8 charge yellow deal 41k damage and swap a 4x1 into black. Then we got the lady lace up 41k damage and swap a 1x4 into yellow. So these two recycle each other. So what we want here now is yellow 
move charge. And what we want here is blue. Because I want to hit super hard on that running clothesline. And I want to be able to use it to cascade other stuff. And then we're going to change Andre for Rikishi. I don't know why I got beefer on there. <clears throat> Is there a yellow... Uh, who's the yellow berserk trainer? It's Charlotte. Alright, deal. All right, let's see if we can do it with this. I doubt it. Guys, I feel like I'm going to get bopped. I feel like this set's okay. But I feel like I'm going to get bopped by a striker here. And I'm not going to be able to kick out without a strap. So if I had a strap and I had some extra gem damage, wouldn't be worried about this at all. But going into it like this, oof, I'm feeling like I'm going to get bopped. Why'd she take green? Sometimes the AI just blows my mind. And that's weird. I'm supposed to be hitting yellow first. Now I'm going to have them all charged up. So what the heck am I supposed to do? I guess just throw the black one out first. I don't know. Choose eight to make into blue. There's like no black on the board and blue to cascade with here. Whatever. I get them two black up in that corner, but... Oh, we did good on the Cascades there. We did good on the Cascades. Keep going. Keep it going for a showboat. 165. That ain't bad right there. Well, let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. Let's, uh, don't get bopped. Don't get bopped, Lacey. Okay. Come on. We got to be able to kick out of that. Ooh, good. We got a, we got a yellow on the... This is getting... It's getting to be sketchy here. It's getting to be sketchy here when you try to kick out. There we go. We saved the black move so that we could try to fill these yellows back up. Because the yellows was the bread and butter there. And we didn't get them full, but we got close. There we go. Now they're full. See if we don't get bopped here. We got to kick out one more time. We should be able to do some pretty good damage. We're going to be in, we're gonna be in good shape here. Uh. Uh. That's all you needed was a damage buff. Alright, there you go. Kick that leg, dive over, little elbow drop right in the gut. Boom. Fill up some black. There's no black left on the board to try and fill with this. Ouch! Boach! Dude! Oh, I needed one more cascade there. <laughs> she's got the gem damage boost on too, so of course she's gonna be able to kick out, right? Why did the why did the damage change there? Did you guys see that? That was certainly a bug. When her gem damage boost went off, it dropped her kick out gem damage down. Why? That shouldn't affect the number that it takes to kick out, right? Right or wrong? Did you guys see that? I, 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 I don't think I'm going to be able to kick out of this. All 
All right, let's cheat. Let's cheat, guys. Let's shuffle. There we go. Now we're out. When you can't win normally, just cheat. That's what I do. Come on. It's close here, guys. It's coming down to the wire. This is the longest matches ever. Oh, of course. Yep, she's got the wild card, and she doesn't take it. Why? What? What a moron. What a moron. Should have had me, but we got her. So what do you guys think about Lacey? She's not terrible, guys. She's not terrible. I'm winning matches against Ronda here uh, with no straps or nothing. So she's going to be able to win some matches. That heel set, that's a three-star set, which means she's going to be able to attack people much stronger than her as long as she can kick out. Like I said, as long as you can kick out, you're good to go. So if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. It's a red button right down below. It says subscribe on it. Just click it while you're down there. Drop it and say elbow right down on that thumbs up button for me, guys. That stuff's free to you. It takes five seconds. Helps me out tremendously. So why wouldn't you do that for me, guys? And uh, until next time.